you know, a little bit about my story. And, and again, I share this journey with you. And again, it's, I have to share it with you. It's not egotistical. It's not arrogant. It's just what I see. I see myself on a big stage with thousands of people and bright lights impacting more people than I can imagine. Now, I've not arrived at that stage, but I am on my podcast and other podcasts with hundreds and thousands of listeners. And I'm also, and I kind of plug to a client of mine, Eagle Certification, who saw my value and brought me in as their master of ceremonies for the boot camp, camp and also as a panel facilitator in front of several hundred people. And the lights were just okay. The point is, I see that future. And little by little, my stages and my lights are getting bigger and brighter. Now, I don't want this to be a really long episode. It's really quite simple. I want you to think about it and brainstorm what is it that you need to be able to see yourself in the future and what are those things you need to do. I can be your partner. Let's connect. I have put this out there so often over and over again. I mean, I I hope you can do this yourself. That's the purpose of these podcast solos. They are to provide you value and actionable things that you can act on immediately. So go back, listen to the beginning, write down all these questions because you should be able to answer these things yourself and be able to move yourself forward. But if you need a brainstorming partner, let me be that for you and let's connect. I can help you whiteboard your thoughts at the future state and close the gap on the current and future state that you desire. It's that easy. And the only thing standing in the way of your successful 2024 is your decision to work on it yourself or work with somebody. Now, I'm here for the C-suite leader of today and tomorrow to own their 2024. We do that by painting a picture of the future and together identify and build the capability you need to realize the future that you're meant to have. Now, I know this was a bit of a pep talk versus a framework, but it's, it's so simple. And I just want to say, tag, you are it. See, I told you it was a short episode. Tag, you are it. This is the moment you should take action. If not for yourself, if you've got this, you can see the future and you're just chugging along in your career kudos to you. But if you are that C-suite leader, that CEO, president, or founder, and you got really, really talented people, but they can't articulate their value, they can't advocate for themselves for that promotion or that new project, you can take this episode and use it to be able to elevate them, help them to see and feel the future. As soon as they can see it, they become it. And if I can partner with you, I am here for you as well. And the other thing is if you have colleagues, that just don't get this, or they need to help their people be able to move forward and be able to articulate their value into the future in order to realize that success that they deserve. Share this episode with them. But I'm also going to throw something else at you. Head on over to my YouTube channel, dropinceo.com. I am creating video shorts of this episode and many, many other episodes. This will be a valuable resource for you or your team or colleagues to start gaining snippets of inspiration or insights to be able to have a successful and bright future. And so I'll get off my pedestal. Um, I needed a tall one because I'm only five foot two, but I will get off this pedestal and just say, I want you to be successful. I'll close by saying my my mentor, Dave Haas, he will always say to me, Deb, all I want to do is see you succeed, but I transfer those good wishes to you as well. I am here for you to be a partner. These episodes are for you to be able to do it yourself. And with that, I just want to wish everybody well and have a great week and much success.